jump into game number one, show you number one, how do you choose to look at it. That might help. Yeah, this is game number one. I mean, you probably heard me say that, but very quietly. Uh, assuming my mic was actually unmuted. I'll do my sponsor. Why not? And use my pass. Alright, so opening with a par 5. So, uh, that's, that's good. G25 driver. The uh, basic WGT ball. I mean, not the best combination, but I'm sure he knows how to use them. And he gets to play from 100 yards closer than me, so... He should be fine. Okay, my turn. Definitely not reaching the screen in two, so I'm just going to aim down the middle of the fairway here. No point in getting fancy, is there? Oh yeah. And that's gone so far left. I really don't understand this. Why is the better ball going so far offline? It's weird. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to get this back in play, aren't I now? I wonder if I could punch it a bit further. I'll take a 6 iron punch it. If I go 140, that gives me a shot of the green and 3 still, doesn't it? See if it gets out the bunker. If it doesn't, then it's uh, game over, isn't it? It's running. Alright, you could probably get it onto the green, but not ideal. I might have to take four shots to get there. But yeah, I only mean, pulls it a little bit, tiny little bit, and it just shoots off to the left. Perfectly into that bunker. Which I believe they call the coffin. Well, coffins. Because of the uh, bits of land in between them. So, basic layout for him. Ball's in his court right now. Although if he hasn't got a decent wedge, it's going to be a little bit harder from that rough, which he probably didn't actually end up in. Question is, do I go for this in three still? Because I could probably run it up to the back of the green if I find the right part of it. I got the angle. I made sure I had that. I might give it a go. Just try and hold a decent putt. Oh, it's all right. I pulled it again, so it's not going to be on the green at all. Oh no! In fact, I don't think it's run too far. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. Oh, that's rough. Okay. Yeah, look at that. He rolled into that first cut there, but his ball's been placed back in the fairway. It's amazing. How many times can I say that? I wonder the next hour and a half. It's amazing. Oh, that should be easy enough for him, yep. Look at that. Just put it in the hole, just end it here. Yeah. Couldn't have a front pin, could you, that you couldn't go for? Alright, it's going to be landing on the down slope. Ball's going to go off to the right. It's going to come out to the left, isn't it? I'm going to go for a flop shot. Chuck the spin on. I don't know how fast the screen is, but uh, let's go there. Oh, that f kick! That kick just ruined this up and down. It might not even happen now. What even was that? I hit it harder. It doesn't. It goes flying past. So I hit it harder. Oh, this is not the start I wanted. This is not the start I wanted to this. Okay, it's fairly fast. So if I hit this fairly firm, it might drop in. Ooh, that probably shouldn't have dropped in, but it did. Uh, well, I mean, he's got to hold this anyway. But, uh, tiniest bit of pressure on him to do it now. Ain't a gimme, that's for sure. As in, he can't literally just pick it up. He has to putt it. Uh, always nice to wait, isn't it? 
And I'm sure he took his shot really quickly, but on my screen it comes up slow because, you know, latency. Alright, fairly straightforward par 4. See, I do like this hole. I do like playing this hole more often than not. Slightly into the wind, so that's going to probably play into my favour a bit. Well, despite the fact I am still quite a distance behind him. But, um, I'm sure he'll be fine. So he knows what he's doing. Yeah, he took his drive, so he didn't go into the narrowest part of the fairway, but hit into the narrowest part of the fairway anyway. That didn't actually make sense, what I just said, but... Oh, well. I'm going to leave mine back a bit, so there's more fairway to work with, but also, it gives me a shot at the green first. I could put some pressure on him. Should I get it right? So even that, that was even smaller, and it's still gone flying off to the left. Oh my god, that's flown forward as well. How the hell? It's only in the rough though this time. I might have to go back to my uh, my basic ball. This is ridiculous. I'm going to put all the backspin on it and pretty much give it almost full power, I think. Maybe, maybe go about there, just to be safe. So we're going to be losing some distance, aren't we? Going into the wind as well. Alright, it's a look at a birdie, but uh, probably not going to make it. Meanwhile, he has the whole green to work with again. He can run it all the way to the back, which, when you haven't got much control, that's what you need, isn't it? All the space you can ask for. So, uh, he'll be fine. Probably go dud dum again in a minute. Not that we can actually hear that, I'll turn the volume down, or the audio down for that. Oh, no. In fact, he seems to push that a bit, but I'm sure it'll still be up there. Yeah. He is still closer. So, let's pray to God it doesn't come down to the nearest the pin. But, yeah, I need to hold this putt. Realistically, don't I? It's going to start off straight, and then it's going to curve towards the end of the putt. Maybe about there? Give it that much. I mean, a bit harder, it probably lips out instead. But yeah, I've really got wholesome putts. God, it's annoying because he's just probably got a straight putt from there. We'll see, won't we? It moves a bit, but not much. Yeah, see? So, straight putt. Whereas I get this bullshit. <sighs> Alright, so that's uh, two pars so far for me, and now we've got a really tricky par four. Because it's over 500 yards, and I don't hit the ball very far. Although it's not the one I thought it was. I thought it was hole nine for some reason. It's the uh, other hole next to those coffins, or the different set, or a different set actually. Looks like I've got the whole green to work with though. Which again, plays into his hands very nicely. Although, he might not be reaching it. Now, I'm saying, if you just, he just has to hit the front and it'll run all the way there. Not that I'm at any advantage here. Oh, now I hit the sweet spot, just so I didn't want to hit it. So that's probably going to be down the right hand side. I hit the down slope there, so that's going to work in my favour. Off it goes. And I can hit in with an iron. I imagine he's going to be hitting a wood though. So I, I get notifications on my watch from my phone. I wasn't, wasn't checking the time. Yeah, he's got his three wood out. Uh, I mean, like I said, he's got the whole green to work with. 
got a stray iron out. Got the whole green to work with. Uh, so yeah, he can just run it up there, no problem. He hasn't got to carry it all the way there. Can he reach for that three iron? Apparently he can. Yeah. It's not going to run all the way to the back, so I've got... I was going to say I've got a chance of going back into this, but I am two shots back. Because of the luck I get. I got my three iron out then. Uh, I think it's going to feed to the right anyway as it rolls up there. If I hit this 190, or just over 190, no, it's not even 190, it's going to be uh, 188, it's 198. Okay, so what if I hit it about 90% then? Okay, no dum-dum, but uh, I imagine it's going to be fairly far up there. Sit down. Sit down. It's going to hold the green, but I thought it was going to run back to the uh, to the right, but it didn't. I don't know, that's a really good shot, but it just didn't do what it should have done. Oh well, you'll hold this for a birdie and end it, I'm sure. Because that's how it's gone so far. I suppose that's why he's in this final round, isn't it? That's how he's got here, because he knows what he's doing. Whereas I haven't got a clue. I mean, I wish he would just hold this, because he's going to stick it inside mine. And if he does hold it, I get a birdie automatically. Go in. Yes! Strange to celebrate, but I automatically go one to par, I believe, for that. Could be wrong. Yeah, I get the birdie. <laughs> okay, so that's... Uh, that's fine, because I don't think he's playing in my round. I get a bronze pack for losing. Literally get one pair of shorts for that. Okay, yeah. That's uh, that's good. As long as we do that five more times, get a birdie somewhere each time, uh, then we'll be up there. We'll be, was it 15th? Uh, I will probably carry on, just go check, make sure everything is going okay in the stream. Alright, so we haven't actually moved anywhere yet, but we should do, hopefully if we can get some birdies in this game. Game number two, we are going to be playing someone. Ah, playing the big dog. One, two, three, two, three. Oh, I do, I do enjoy this hole. I find it fairly straightforward in this game, despite the fact what it would be like in real life. Uh, so, you know, watch me mess this up now. I'm going to take my sound wedge, I think, because the wind's going to carry it forward and to the right a bit. Chuck some backspin on it. And just, just go for it. I mean, it's going to be within three yards, just... Is it going to be just three yards? Oh no, that's, that's pretty good. That's right, you can just do that on this hole. Still got all that part, but uh, it's a promising start. Very promising. And it really does concern me when I see people using the starters clubs, starters ball, and they're in this round. Because there's a reason why they're in this round. It's not because they fluked it. You don't fluke your way to the final. I don't think I'm, I'm proof of that, I'm sorry. Actually, no, I'm, I'm proof that you can fluke your way to the final. Never mind. Come on, you've got 15 seconds. Yeah, it's a strong wind, isn't it? Just uh, hit it down there, you'll be fine. He's got the right idea, it's just it's he hasn't gone far enough. Oh, well, I'm sure you can get up and down for the par. Uh, I mean, what? why would you be here if you couldn't? It's one of those t places where the momentum can shift. He's hit a good shot there. He should, yeah, he's going to making his par. So the momentum's shifted in his favour now because he shouldn't have 
Uh, in my eyes, he shouldn't be walking away with a par because he hasn't got the best equipment for that. But it looks like he's going to do that in a minute now. And, uh, yeah, that really shifts the, pre uh, the momentum to his side. Whereas I, I hold that part, but I still feel like he's got the momentum. I've got a lead, but I could have been two shots ahead if he hadn't done this. Which I imagine he's going to hold this. I'd be amazed if he didn't hold it. But that's, that's just match play. That's what it is. You always have to assume your opponent's going to hold their next shot. I think I said that last time. I think I said that every time I play this game. Or play match play. You never know what's going to happen. Good start for me, though. Got our birdie. I'm thinking almost go full power here. Maybe go about there, just to be safe. We don't want to run out of fairway, do we? But we are going straight into the wind, so it's going to take a lot of distance off it. There we go, safely in the fairway. Probably not coming in from the best angle, but the wind could help us get the ball close to the flag, but I should probably aim to the left of it, just to be safe. Mind you, every time I do that, every time I play safe here, leave it just to the left, it's that horrible slope where that flag is. And I've three putted so many times from now. I think I, I've just got to go for it, haven't I? And then failing that, get up and down. I can't see him getting particularly close to the flag in two, but, uh, well, again, he's here for a reason. I mean, he's at that 180. So, I don't think he can even reach the screen. I don't think he can get within 30 yards of it, can he? Into that wind. It's just everything's going against him here. And I feel like it's going to be more in my favour. Because I can at least hit my iron in. He's gone for the flag, so maybe he can get the... Ooh. Okay. So you can barely carry the water, the cliffs. So he should have just aimed for the fairway, shouldn't he? And I guess he's done it this time, isn't he? Yeah, he's done it this time. Isn't that always the way in golf? Alright. Uh, question is, do I still try and go for this flag now? I suppose in terms of the actual tournament, I'm going to have to try, aren't I? Uh, straight to that wind. 198 is 90% of that. No. 80% of that. No, 95% of that. What am I... <sighs> Should I just do that just to be safe? Just, uh... Yeah, make sure it goes far enough. Okay, I've pulled it a bit, but it should be safely towards the green. It's going to fly it now, isn't it? It's going to fly it. Oh no, we're on. Actually a pretty good shot. Uh, I hope I can two-part from there. That'll be nice. Again, it's one of the situations, though. I have to assume he's probably going to hold this. He shouldn't hold it, more often than not, so I should be looking at a three-shot lead at the end of this hole. I could still hold my putt for a birdie, which would make it a four-shot lead, should he miss this. There's so many combinations right now. He could hold this, I could two-putt, and then he, he's still in. And that's actually a pretty good putt, and I've just seen what the slope I've got to deal with here is now. I've got a horrible slope here, so I'm probably not making my birdie. So I wouldn't get too excited about that. Uh, I'm going to go up to... There. Yeah. Gonna both curl and not curl straight away at the same time, I think. I'm just gonna hit it there. Oh, get in! That is a bonus right there. Oh. This is the best case scenario for me. This isn't even a gimme. He should hold it. This would be a four shot lead. Uh. Yeah, I should have won this showdown. But also, I've made two birdies. Three in a row now. 
technically. So, uh, yeah, this is very good for me. Very good start. Long way to go, though. It's got another 12 holes on me after this. Plus, you can never tell what that wind's going to do. And, you know, if you pull it ever so slightly, you never know where it's going to end up. Okay, I've pushed it slightly, which is probably the worst thing I could do with a left to right wind that strong. But, it looks like it's going to be in the fairway. So that might be a fair way down as well. Keep going, keep going. Blimey. I haven't hit a shot that long for a while. I can actually got a second shot at the f on the green here, I think. Get out the flag. So that should definitely be a win for me here now. I guess this just didn't really suit him. It's, it's that one shot that cost him, realistically, but at the same time, I've made two birdies. So I think I deserve to win this one. I've done like nine hole match play events, just uh, casually, where I've shot like five under par for the nine, and I've lost it on a on a tiebreaker. It just doesn't doesn't seem fair. As in, they got five under as well, so we had to go to a tie break. Can he reach the screen? I don't think he can. So I'm not sure where he's going at the flag. Uh, he almost did, actually, to be fair. Alright, so 7 iron, not going to reach, so it's going to be a 6 iron. That goes to 166. Wind's going to take it to the right. Going downhill, so I think I can take a little bit off this shot. And it should wind up on the green still. I think. I just gotta stick it on the green, so if I aim there, take a little bit off it for the wind to carry it forward. Sweet spot. Are you up? You are up. You're also a bit long. But uh, I can safely three putt from there now and still win. Obviously I want a two part and keep my score intact. That's in the rough, is it? What is it? Clinging onto some grass, which is barely clinging onto the bank. That, that looks like it's in the bunker, I'm afraid. So I'm, I'm not buying that. Uh, see if you can get up and down at least. Go out in a blaze of glory. Looks like he might do it. It's going to roll a bit, but... He's got a putt for it. Uh, yeah, no, no comeback here by the looks of things. As much as it's nice it would be to hold this one, I've now got to try and start thinking about preserving what I have at the same time as going forward. So this isn't a realistic putt to hold. That thing's going to swing wild, I think. If I go 15, a bit more than that, about there maybe. That's pretty good. In fact, if I just got a bit higher up, it might have gone in. But uh, yeah, all good. We should be staying at a tree under par for the tournament. I imagine things are probably going to get a bit worse for him, but you never know. You might hold this. You might preserve uh, his score here. He has. It's a good part. Do I get a gimme or am I just outside that range? Just outside. Of course I am. Let's see. I'll take anything I can get in the final. Let's just make sure this goes in, shall we? There we go. Cool. So three under, three six holes. Uh, and that puts us pretty high up, I think, already. Maybe like top 35, perhaps? We'll see in a minute. In the meantime, I do get another pack. A silver pack. And that is going to contain some top golf shoes, and that's it. Why? Why am I not getting much out of these these days? He's just gone. Fair enough. We need to keep on moving too. Uh, get the leaderboard up. Come on. Yeah, that's that top forty-five. <laughs> oh, really? Oh well. Final three holes of what would be our front nine. And uh looking good so far, aren't we? 
I'm better than I hoped. I thought at this stage I might be like one over, level pass still. This guy is level 91 master, who apparently averages 150 around, so I don't believe any of that whatsoever. And I'm just going to try and do my best here. So, uh, hmm. I think if I aim it here, wind's helping. I might have my three wet actually. Because that should barely reach the fairway, so as a result of that, it should easily carry to the fairway and roll out a bit. Get full power to be safe, make sure it gets over that rough. Got good timing there, I thought it was going to go a lot further than that. Please don't go in that bunker, please don't go in that bunker. Ah, oh, brilliant. I got a wedge from there. I can try and wedge it in close. That's exactly how I saw it going though. It's gone out roughly where my driver would have landed had the wind not been so high. No, end up, sorry, not landed. Total distance. Alright, he's got the Epic Driver. I've uh, rented that so many times, I know how good that is, but has he taken it and come out the wind? I don't think he has. No, oh, he didn't, did he? Uh, I'm sure he can deal with that, but it's going to be a lot harder to control it. That's for sure. I'm going down to my sandwich. Get this out. It's a crosswind we've got here, annoyingly, so I'm going to have to aim off the green. Full backspin. Ball's going to carry, no question. So, uh, is it take off 9. Or that's roughly 85, 90%, so roughly 90 is 95%. I think I'm going to have to do that. And just hope the spin kicks in. Okay, pulled it a bit again, but it should be safely on the green, hopefully. Get up, get up, get up, get up. We got a putt for a birdie. I felt like that wasn't going to carry to the green, but then it suddenly did. But uh, I've given him the opportunity to get himself back in here. Although if he's got starters, clubs, four wedges, he might struggle a bit. Oh, that's a very lucky bounce. And now it isn't. That's goal for a nutshell. I thought he hit a great shot then, but... Uh, he just ran over the back. He can still chip it in for his birdie. And he's probably going to be up and down for a par, so... Pressure's on me. I've got to hold my birdie putt here, if I want to take a lead. Realistically. Looks like we've got a very fast green here. Like a tournament green. Very fast. That's right, first time. But yeah, I've really got a hold of this part, otherwise uh, I've literally done nothing this hole. It's downhill. I'm thinking yeah, that's the apex there, so it should break if I get the pace right. Which I think is going to be about there. <laughs> yes! Just about! Just about got that. My god, this might actually be my day. We are four under through seven holes. But we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. Because we know how cruel a game golf can be. Especially a golf video game. So, uh, yeah. One hole at a time. It's St Andrews though, so we've got some good score opportunities more often than not. I think we've got one here. This is the third hole, isn't it? Yeah, so this is a good opportunity to try and make one here. So just down the left-hand side, so the wind brings it back round. Oh, got the timing down to, to a tee. A uh, little worried about how that's set off right at my target. Also now kicked right, but it looks like we're going to have a maybe a pitching wedge into the green from there. Probably going to be a nine-nine though, given that wind. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying how. It's gone for the most part. I didn't like losing that first showdown. But, uh, you know, still one under for it. Okay, that ball's shooting off to the right too, but it should be fine. He is behind me, which may have been intentional. Because I imagine he could hit the ball a lot further than 
250 yards with that driver of his. Assuming he used the driver, he might use his three wood. But you can clearly see the money went with him. If he's only got the uh, start designs and wedges. But then again, if you can do stuff like that, then I guess you don't really need them. Do you? you don't need better equipment. Just got to run it up there. If I run it inside him, it's probably game over for him here and now, but that is asking quite a lot. Let's make sure it doesn't go too far right. So, uh, yeah, it's probably a good idea doing this. We're just going to run it up there. 125, 113. So in between that, 125, 113, that's a uh, 119. Let's give it a bit more than that, don't we? Really? It should run up there nicely. Even pulled it a bit, so there's no reason why it'd be going where I aimed it. That's great distance control, but such poor... It's not even that, the wind should have taken it. The wind should have taken it back round to the flag, despite me pulling it. Okay. It's going to be an outside chance at a birdie still. I think it's going to gradually turn its way down there, isn't it? Yeah, let's do that. Maybe we'll grab the right pixel. Who knows? So close. That was so close. Just had to aim it slightly more inside. Oh well, looks uh, like we're going to be tied then after this hole. I'm actually just going to hold this. Nine feet. Just hit it hard the hole, don't you? Oh my god. Okay, never mind. So uh, I've still got my one shot lead. Going into this final hole. But uh, definitely not safe. Please give me that par 5. Okay, we're playing the road hole. Not ideal, but um, I guess this is our first test, see how how well we're doing. It is downwind, which will help us a bit, but we've still got to try and hit the fairway, haven't we? Although, maybe I won't be so bad. If I aim it over here, wind's going to take it, bring it back around to the left. Let's go for it. I've also brought it back around to the left, so uh, definitely safely uh, in play. It's just going to be, yeah, well up in the rough, of course. In the fescue. <laughs> Not ideal whatsoever. But uh, we could punch it down there. Try and get up and down, save up our... Uh, I imagine this is not a good scenario for him with his irons. Which is what he'll be hitting in after his tee shot from closer. He's also going to be in the rough. Probably just the first cut though. No, my luck. Oh, no, he's deep in fescue too. No, he's in the rough. He's in rough. How is he in rough and I'm in fescue? Uh, well, I mean, so we're going to punch it out of here. I need a better camera angle than this. Three. There we go. No. Just. I mean, should I try and punch it onto the green still, maybe? I can get it close. Perhaps. Uh, this might be a stupid idea. Because it's going to run up there, isn't it? It's going to run up onto the uh, fringe. I'm just going to speed that up a bit. Okay, great. We're parting from, oh god, about 60, 69 feet, if I've got my measurements right. Uh, all the way across that slope. That's going to be fun. At least the flag's not right at the back of the green. That would have been much harder. I imagine he's going to stick this really close now, or very least he'll have a two putt. Is he up there? 
Oh my god. I just let him back into this, haven't I? I mean, that's, a, that's a really good shot, but you, you can't tell that, you know, without the, getting the, the heartbeat thing going. I've let him back into this. I've got a 70 foot putt up the slope. Which I kind of need to be finishing below the hole, but if I if it goes too far below, I'm going to be putting from a long way away. If I leave it above the hole, I've got no putt whatsoever. Uh... Okay. I mean, this might be a good spot considering what's going to be happening. Uphill fairly fast green. So I got close to 90, I think. Oh no. I don't even know what happened there. I thought I was going uphill. Alright, I'm sort of throwing that shot away and we're also potentially handing this to him now. I'm saying it's not over till it's over, is it? Uh, it turns all the way. Oh, I right clicked. Uh, let's give this a go, shall we? It's very unlikely it's going to be a par. Oh, especially when everything goes right with that. I pulled it, which is better than pushing it. And yet somehow that's what causes it to dip below the hole. How does that work? Oh well, good game, well played. Well done. I let him back into this still. He can still take it in the tie break. I like how they've got construction of the uh, grandstand there. I think that's where it goes on that hole. Alright, cool. It's, uh, can you control this from 79 yards downwind? I mean, this might actually work in his favour because the wind's going to carry it forward. And he can probably run out that slope, no problem. But I'm kind of hoping he can't. Well, that's not going to be inside 10 feet. That's, uh, I'll take that as a positive, but... Still fairly close. In fact, that is barely outside 10 feet. Okay, I know it's going to kick right now when it lands. I just got run out there, haven't I? Go about... It's probably a bad idea. It'd be nice if it's going to dump. That'd be great. Oh look! I hit the upslope instead of the da uh, the downslope, or just you know no slope. That was, that was perfect. Got any further, it would run miles. Any shorter, it probably wouldn't get up there either. So yeah, I just handed that to him on a plate. Very fitting for the Thanksgiving event. Oh, we actually got two things that time, that's nice. Won't be getting any more packs uh, now, unfortunately. But uh, we've got nine more holes. We are still three under par, aren't we? Two under. That's no, three under, isn't it? Because we have got to four under, yeah. Alright, so we're going to our back nine now. Game number four. We are going to be playing... Oh, Embed four. So that's someone that's in my uh, my ballpark, which is just as worrying as someone that isn't. But I get a feeling that they're going to be playing from, yep, much closer. This was like a deliberate setup again. Like, they, they hone their craft on never account, and then they play this one. Although he has got a low score. I don't really understand how this works. Uh, I'll reply to that in a minute. Uh, I mean, can I go for the green? 
sort of thing a crazy person would do, isn't it? Can I land it around the green? I mean, full backspin, I'll send it higher. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Get timer right, get timer right. Okay, I've pulled it a bit, that's probably going to work in my favour. Well, come in the bunker, but you know what I mean. Okay, that's not holding the green, is it? It's going to be on the fringe. He's fine. See, if I did that, I'd be out of bounds. But, uh, yeah, he's still in play. I had to go for that, because that could be make or break. I mean, I've probably just cost myself the birdie now as well. Unfortunately. What the hell am I looking at? I guess I'm trying to do the part from here, aren't I? So it's going to start off rolling... Right, that's going to roll left when we get to the top there. I think I'm going to have to aim out here, I think. If I aim at the hole, maybe I can... Uh... That just isn't going to help me at all. Maybe it doesn't come back that much. Uphill. Uh, 140. 146. Let's go about, go about 150. Maybe a bit more. Up the hill. Bear that in mind. It's uphill on a slow green. Why the hell have you gone that far past? My god, what a waste. Just let him back in. Assuming it's a him, of course. Assuming it's a him? Assuming they are a him. They could be a her. Or a. Uh, non descriptive other uh, identity. Wow. Um, yeah, this is. I mean, could I have gone. No, I couldn't have gone more towards the flag, could I? Because I barely reached the front of the green. That would have put me in trouble. I'd be in so much trouble if I'd, I'd done that. I've got a putt for a birdie, found that's a safe par. I just don't want the outcome of this hole now to be that they hold their putt for a par, and I miss mine for a birdie. Which is looking very likely, but uh, looks like they haven't held theirs. Whereas now it could be I could hold this, and they could still two putt from there. So many combinations in this game, isn't there? Anything could happen at any moment. Be fairly firm with this one still. Make sure it gets to the hole. So why is it turned straight away? There was no turn up there. It was all at the hole. According to that grid. And yet here we are. What a waste. Eagle Bay opportunity turns into a par. And they're going to hold their bogey putt, probably. Unless they can't... Oh. It's possible they could pull it still, and they have pulled it. So, uh, that's going to be their gimme there. I'm going to take mine from a par. I've got a two-shot lead, but, um... You know, we haven't moved forward. We should have done. Uh, this is... Oh, this is the second hole. This is the actual second hole. Again, I can't really go towards the green here. Maybe I can, I don't know. Where's that bunker at? It's about 300, that bunker. So I could go more this way. I could go... Hmm. 
I feel like this is slightly risky doing this, but... I mean, it puts me close to the green anyway, so I might as well go for it. I should carry the bunker, hopefully. Or go straight in the middle of it. That's got to carry a long way now. Oh. Oh, it did. <laughs> that was unexpected. Where am I from? There. Put the other way around. Wow. <laughs> this is going well. Alright. It's hard to give too much away about where I am. At the same time, you know, if I actually tell people where I'm from, they're not going to know it. So, uh, it's easy just to say, you know, London. And, yeah, pretty, pretty much London. Alright, uh, first time I got my, uh, lob wedge in my hand. Yeah. Chances are I wouldn't even know where I was from anyway. Uh, downwind. 54. 57 maybe? I mean the ball's going to... Actually I'm going to take the spin off it. Take the spin off. It's a very slow green anyway. And just make sure it gets up there. There we go. I don't know it's going to be like three yards away. Uh, it's fairly close. It's a downhill part, unfortunately. makes it a bit harder now. But it's a chance for a birdie again. But I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> West Philadelphia, by any chance? Uh, West Philadelphia, born and raised. And all that. Okay. Uh, not quite a gimme for them. Definitely not a gimme for me. But one I want to really be holding here. I've got to go for it. I've got to hit firm and just hope it breaks correctly. It did. Get in. Oh. Back to four under par, though we should be six under right now, shouldn't we? We should have reached our target already. I'd say I think the holes have fallen in my favour so far because it sounds like this person doesn't like this course full stop. But we've had two of the uh, best scoring holes on the course so far. I imagine we're going to get that horrible par 3 now, which I believe is the third hole. I imagine that's going to finish us off here. Because otherwise it wouldn't be uh, a tournament, would it? Oh, blimey. It's given us the first hole, par 5. Which means I got an opportunity to get another birdie here. Still asking quite a lot, but you know, not as bad. I've got to go to here and hope it carries, haven't I? If it does, I got the best angle towards the flag then. Slightly mistimed it, but it should be down there still. Just keep going, just keep flying, 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 just keep flying. Just keep flying. No, didn't quite make it. It's going to be a three-shot hole. That's a shame. It just had to be slightly left of that, or a bit further. It would have been a really good shot. Uh, I imagine it's a simple carry for them. Yeah, that's all you need to do, really, isn't it? I can still potentially... No, I can't punch it up there. 
That's safely in the fairway. I'll leave it at that, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. Uh, I'll ask him in a minute how Philadelphia is. Because I am genuinely, genuinely curious. Because a bit like over here, different parts of the, the country are suffering more than others. But kind of based on the actions of said people. I'm going to get out there and zip it back, I think. That's the plan, anyway. Probably won't work. I mean, I'll take that. That's pretty good. Okay, well, I, I guess they've kind of answered the question. I don't think I can even respond now. There we go. BT out president worries about election fraud. I, I, know, I know what they're saying, I just don't know what the BT bit is. Politish. How do you spell politician? Oh. Our government. <laughs> Concerned. Oh, not again. Ah, uh, I'll do that in a minute. Again, it'd be great if I can read this perfectly. I think that's going to break massively, isn't it, as it goes down? It's not going to be rolling very fast. Get in. Oh, I can't even respond now. Uh, if you watch the uh, stream, which I doubt, I did try. I did try to respond. Oh, God. All right, now. Let's go. Let's get that. GG, and uh, they're gone. All right, so we are five under, I think, for 12 holes. That's... Pretty good going. I'm not sure I actually want to see where I am now, but I probably have no choice. I mean, I really thought I was going to be higher. Alright, I mean, I might find out why some scores are lower than that in a minute. As we go into our fifth game. Making good progress. Uh, so we're five under par. Only played 12 holes, so pr pretty much uh, almost 50% success rate with birdies. Which is good. Playing Vern, the 990th of the Verns. Well, I imagine there's probably a reason why they chose that number in particular. It normally is. Right. Let me in. Slight tailwind. That could help us, especially going uphill. I uh, just got, I hope we haven't got a really fast screen. Might have to hit into the upslope. I hope that kills it. I it would be nice to uh, get into the game and figure out what to do. Right. Always bad news in the world, isn't there? Hardly ever any good. 
Oh. I think for a change this isn't at my end. No, it's at their end. I mean, if they can't get back in, then automatic win for me, but I've still got to play those three holes, and also, that isn't really the way I want to win games. I want to win on merit. I actually beat them, as opposed to, you know, they forfeit, disconnect, quit, whatever. Aren't the best wins the one where you've played well, your opponent's played well, and you've come out on top? That that I rarely get to experience, even in real life. That's not like I play match play in real life. The only reason I've won is because I just got lucky, caught someone on a bad day. All right, I can just play my game now. Uh, three coins. Whoop whoop. Can't imagine I'll reach that bunker, but I might surprise myself in a minute. Sweet spot, get in. Okay. So it's only a slight tailwind, so it shouldn't be reaching the bunker. Uh, can I have a 9 iron, 8 iron in hand here? Yeah. What are we hitting into? You've got the upslope, so I might go with the 8 iron. Throw some backspin on there. Maybe take, take like a yard off if I can and get to just run in. I pulled it, but apparently it's going to be a good shot. It's going to be above the hole though, isn't it? I can't be going in, surely. No. It's actually not even that good. I'm right above the hole, so it's going to be uh, a fast putt all the way down. It's both going to break and not break. Maybe there. And, uh, go fairly firm. Ah. I think I see if I hit that, it might have gone in. Because it wouldn't have broken as much as it did. That's disappointing. If I was below the hole, I could have gone for it. Long par 5. Three shot hole. Let's start off strong, shall we? Let's not make it a four shot hole. Slightly into the wind this time. See, if you've got distance in golf, no hole's actually that long. You know, this hole's 600 yards, wasn't it? 603 yards. But what I can do now is I can sit myself inside a hundred with this shot and uh, hit a wedge in. So you've got distance, this is a great game to play. If you haven't, it's not particularly fun, especially when everyone starts out driving you. I know it's not all about how far you hit it, but it certainly helps. Uh, I think with that wind going uphill, I'm just going to hit this full power, I think. Hit it at the flag for a change. And it should be up there. Give me the, the heartbeat again. Is it going to be close this time? That'd be nice. Okay. That should be a tap in. We could be going to the promised six under par here, but it's a very tricky putt still. I've got a hole. So yeah, not guaranteed. I don't like how unhelpful this uh, guide is being, but I've got it. We are six under par. Wow. Okay, we could push on from here. We've got four more holes, I believe. Are we six under par? Oh god. Oh, I can't see that now, can I? Uh, right. Also, I should probably focus on this, shouldn't I, in the meantime? I think, yeah, I'm just going to go here. Full backspin. We shouldn't be reaching that bunker. So, uh, all should be good doing this. Sweet spot. Definitely helps. Please don't reach it. Yeah, we're good. 
I was thinking hit the lob wedge full, although we are going uphill. I've got to carry it over that. Alright, I'm going to go with the uh, sandwich and I'm going to try and... I can't zip it back because of the wind. But I've got to get it up there, haven't I? 67. I'll give it slightly more than that and just hope it holds. Go there. It's going to be long, isn't it? That's not up there, is it? Oh, it is up there. That's probably below the hole as well. Okay, another good birdie opportunity coming up here. And one I've really got to take. That's really going to swing at the beginning. Uh, here. Yeah, i just got to do that. Get in! I got to check that scorecard, because that could put us at uh, seven under, eight under. I don't know. We've made one bogey. We haven't, we haven't played nine hours, so it's not eight under. Don't be an idiot. So yeah, we made eight birdies, so we are seven under par. Blimey. Okay. That's uh, pretty good going, so the 13th as well. Okay, three more holes, come on, we can do this. 14, okay, we can't win, 14 under's out of reach, but maybe we can get to 9 under. That would be a good score, that would put us 5th or 6th. We should be 8 under right now, though. That bogey should never have happened, we should have, actually we should have made that birdie at the 10th uh, hole, shouldn't we? But overall, this has been a very good tournament. We're getting a fairly decent price where we are right now. And there aren't that many people to play. So, uh, just got to try and move forward a bit more. And this isn't the hole to do it on. Uh, this is the hole where you've got to find the green, really. Yeah, from 200 and something yards away. I'd hope I can hit my three iron. Give myself a chance at uh, holding the green. I like my chair has been sweeping too much throughout this. I really hope it hasn't. Come on, guy. Oh. I got one of these, have I? Is it going to run out there or is it going to. Okay, so it's possible to get the start, which means it can't be that fast a green, despite the fact it's got a better ball than me. Where's 2.8 put us? Barely carries. But what if I go up here? And do that. The ball's going to roll right to left when it lands. It's just got to reach the green. And that's going to be in the bunker. I think. Oh no. Alright, we're putting. We can uh, save par from there, and he's not guaranteed that birdie, so... I bet this is actually a tournament green we're playing on. It's just... Yeah, what a surprise. What a surprise. Okay, so putts going to be faster than they have been so far. I don't think it's going to turn too much, if I'm honest. Uh, I suppose it's not that far uphill, is it? So, uh, I'll do that. Send it a, I was going to say, I sent it a bit to the right, but I haven't. Get in! Oh my god! You bugger! And that one, I have no idea why that didn't drop in. I mean, th I understand the physics of it, but it wasn't going that fast when it got to the hole, so how the hell did that lip out? Uh, right, we're well, probably going to hold this part. No, my luck. Yeah, look at that. 
I forget when you get one of those Callaway balls, the ball's just on a string, isn't it? Right, just please drop in, please drop in. If it's any harder than it has to be, thank you. Oh. That could have been a great birdie. Oh, another par three with a tournament green. Great. So yeah, I had to make, I had to make my score before these last three holes. Whereas now I've, not, I've got to uh, defend it. There's a chance we're probably going to get the 17th hole as our final hole for this tournament. Of course, it might, it might be any of them. could be a par 5 to finish. That would be nice. Have a shot at birdie one last time. Come on, hit the ball. Okay, you can't do it every time, that's good to know. Uh, that might be stuck above the hole. It is stuck above the hole. Interesting. 197. I think I might hit my four eye in here. And got another camera angle, have I, from there? If I hit this almost full with full backspin, maybe I can get it to stop on the green. It's got to carry 180, pretty much. I mean, all said and done, that's not bad, it's just not good. I'd rather have my putt than his putt. Let's put it that way. That's a pretty good shot. I imagine he's going to be putting down and across the slope. Then again, just you know, pull that string. It'll drop in somehow. Uh, but yeah, it's usually a tricky putt. So I can't imagine he will be holding this one. Which means, in terms of the showdown, I've really got to hold my putt. Did that come back from there? Don't think it's going to come back. Ah, he's really screwed himself there, isn't he? Whereas I can be a bit more aggressive with this one. All things considered, I probably shouldn't do that, though. Uh, go about there and hit it about there, I think. Get in! That is eight under par, folks, for the tournament. And uh, I think we're back in this. I mean, he'll probably hold this now and we'll go down the last all square, but. Uh, it shouldn't be an easy part from here either. It's still downhill, still a bit of a slope there. And he doesn't hold it. That's a gimme though, so I'm going to have a one shot lead going into this final hole. Obviously the best time to have the lead is once you've played the final hole. So uh, definitely not over yet. It's quite a nice hole to finish on, depending on what they've done with the wind. Okay, that's fine. It's going to be uh, wedged into the green, at least. I'll take a bit off that in case it carries a long way. I pulled it a bit, but it should be in the fairway still. It should be in the fairway still. Oh, wow! It's amazing what this game can do to you sometimes. That should easily have reached the fairway. I took a tiny bit off, slightly into the wind. Uh, but yeah, it's probably going to be a safe part to finish, I hope. But I've kind of screwed myself here, because he could make a birdie, and then we're going to a tie break. So I've really got to make my birdie still, I think. Now, is he going to be in the thick rough? Oh, it's going to be in the no rough, isn't he? Because even though it looks like it's rough there, 
which there is. He's fine. He's fine. Uh, again, I've got no second camera angle to work with here. It's a very fast screen, so I must remember that. Uh, 113 is there. And again, adding on 6. 119. I think I'm going to go about here and just hope it works out. No, nope, no did them. So it's... Don't you dare fly the green! You were in the rough! You were in the rough! You did not fly the green when you're in the rough. If anything, you've cost me so much from not going far enough. And now you fucking fly the green. Well, that was a very straightforward victory for him in the end. Just got to stick it inside uh, three feet, otherwise that'll be a failure in his eyes, I'm sure. Which he must have done from that distance, yeah. Not quite. More like six feet, but... I've got to flop this onto the green now and hope I get this right. Luckily I've got the right ball for it. I ball for the shot, it's just whether or not it actually uh, stops quick enough. And it has not. So we're going back to 7 under par by the looks of things, unless I can hold this part. Which would be nice. Puts the pressure on him to make his birdie then at least. Uh, what are we dealing with here? Tiny bits of break, that's what we're dealing with here. But I could probably avoid all that by hitting it hard. Had to be straight though, had to be straight. Had to be straight! I had to say that was for bogey, I thought this next one was for bogey. Oh, that was the simplest of wins for him. What a way to end. Pathetic. We had to stick it in the fairway. Isn't it funny how I couldn't find the fairway? Oh well, at least that's done now. Pretty good going. We're going to finish the top 20, I hope. So, uh, we'll take a look at that, see what prize we could be looking at getting. Dropped about three or four shots out there, so it could have been way up there. I imagine bogeying a hole also puts me f a few more places down as a result. Yes, I'm right down the bottom of them. As opposed to birding it, which puts you pretty higher up. So, we're 13th. It's a lot higher than I thought I'd be. And it looks like most people have finished now. So, uh... Yeah, it looks like I'm going to stay there. So let's take a look at the prizes. Because, you know, top 20. Must get something pretty good for that. Yeah, I tried just missing out on the credits. Although, where would I have been if I'd, uh... 8 under par? I would have been... I would have been 8th. Probably ninth. I forget how these things work. I'm not scorecard, I want the uh, prizes. Eighth. Yeah, I would have won most of my credits back that I've spent on these so far. As is, uh, I'm going to get a gold pack, which probably had nothing in it. Uh, my luck. Some more TP5 balls. <laughs> Can never have enough of those. And yeah, I just. <sighs> Great tournament. Poor ending. I could have been... I could have got to 10 under in the end, I think. Look at that scorecard now. Two bogeys, so that's uh, 9 under there and then. 10th hole, I should have been at least a birdie. And, uh, well, that's, that's about it. So yeah, I could have been 10 under. Could have really placed up there. What would that have got me? Not much more than 8th, really. But yeah, that's, uh, that's going to do it for this tournament. That's probably my best finish yet. So, uh, yeah, pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, until next time, I'm going to be streaming on Friday. I can play some more Fall Guys. Uh, I will see you then.